I want to speak on Apostle Johnson Suleiman. You know, there's, there's this news going everywhere that he bought a private jet. Is that correct? Church, is that correct? He, he bought a private jet. And I've been reading people's comments. I took time and I logged into social media to read what people are saying. And I, I was so touched. I was equally so embarrassed. And there's somebody, there's a video I watch. And that video of that particular person basically was talking on it. But let me say something before I talk on that. Hear this. When I started my own ministry, by the grace of God, there was a time I would use truck. You know what is called truck? Eh? To park speaker. You were there with us. To park speaker and push. Hello? And push. Nobody will help me offload. I will offload. If I offload, we start ministration. I went to the street. I went to the market. I spoke about God. And it came to a time in my life, my brother, you know, I, I the Lord now began to bless me. We started a branch then in Egyptia, Lagos. We moved another branch in Kilo, Lagos. And when God started blessing me, I decided to bless people. I opened Bible whole water in a community and give it for free. I started paying free education fees. I give out cars. I have given out a land. I sowed as a seed. I pay free education to a lot of children. I bought school bags to empower children, a lot of children, including in this branch. Books. Make sure that they go to school and have what they're supposed to have. And, uh, and let me say something. The news doesn't carry such news. They don't carry the news when a man is toying from the ground. What they will blast is when a man is succeeding. Apostle Justin Suleiman, let me say something to you. Because your news sometimes makes heads on social media, but that doesn't matter. What my thought is that I want to say congratulations to you, brother. Let me say something. Hold it down small. Why would you, somebody will stand up. You say you criticize a man of God because God provided a private jet. Let me say something. Sometimes you'll be here, I'll be ministering. And I should be ministering in another state. Some of you have witnessed that. That immediately I'm dropping mic in the altar. I, I will act as if I'm going to the office. The next thing you will see is my car takes off to the airport. I'm ministering in another place. From there, the next night, I'm ministering in another place. Sometimes when I go to the U.S., I'll be ministering in two states. In the same parallel day, if I finish here, I will fly into another state. My brother, when a man of God buys a jet, he deserves it. But when a politician who stole money buys a jet, you go and bow down before them. But I know that a man of such magnificent tradition has one way affected life somewhere. Look at the level of life I'm affecting. There is no one that bloggers are carrying around. But any day I buy private jet now. Pia. May God bless the church.